all right guys and welcome to race six in lovely russia we've got ourselves what i think looks like a very fast circuit today and i'm very hopeful that fingers crossed george russell and nicholas and if he could pull out a good performance for the team so we've gone with eight softs four mediums and three hards the idea being I want us to try and utilize the hard tires as much as we can to maybe have one less pit stop um, the bad news is there is rain in the race which has screwed up our strategy in South Africa I think we were on for possibly a points finish especially with Latifi maybe even with Russell as well had the rain not come but it is what it is I'm going to get this practice out of the way and I'll see you guys in a minute for a bit of qualifying. So an 11th and a 13th place in practice. Yeah, a little underwhelming. I was hoping to see us a little higher to be honest. I feel like the track suits us but we are waiting on quite a few improvements to try and push. push us on at the moment the rain that was forecast for the race isn't here there is no there is no rain forecast so here is here's hoping we're gonna have a dry quality and then fingers crossed a dry race we had a wet practice but what we're gonna do is we're gonna whack George Russell you idiot he didn't go out on softs We'll have to put that on. Did you? No, you didn't either. We could be in for a very long qualifying stint here. So we're going to change the setup up to help suit on. So that should hopefully be a bit more to what he's after. And then George. He likes everything else, just not his downforce. So we'll go with that for George. And he didn't use any softs, so he's got an extra set of softs compared to Latifi. We shall take qualifying. Um, I think it's the it's time that Russell went out first could be wrong on that one but I believe it's Russell's time to go out first so here he goes we start warming these trying to get into the nice temperature zone perfect tyres overheated brakes what can you give me George as he does that we're going to send out Nicholas We're going to get those tyres heated up straight away. There we go. Now let's just keep them tyres in amongst here. Perfect. And he's got overheated brakes. What can Latifi do? Russell's only five tenths off Lewis. Latifi's not doing too bad, he's only two temps down after the first sector. Four temps down after the... He's got cars in front of him, his whole lap's ruined, I think. Yep, yeah, I think his whole, his whole lap was ruined by idiots in front of him. Yet yeah, he still goes faster than Nikita Mazepin. So we'll toot along here. Just let this get down a little bit. It's a 54 second lap. 
what 55 for us so we'll let this get down a little bit more I know you can do a better lap don't worry I'm just trying to time it so the track's at it's best okay new set of softs for George and he will go out first this is his bid to cement So we've got him on perfect. We will now send out Nicholas. George starting a flying lap. Go on, George, you can do this, son. He's going quicker than he did last time. get it so he's got the perfect tyres he has got the perfect tyres did Russell go quicker he did only took him above Raikkonen though so he's up to 12th Latifi what are you going to do this is your last lap mate he's up in sector 1 oh he's got slower sector 2 and there's no excuse this time but this should be faster sector 3 surely it is but it's only fast enough for 17th. Nicholas Latifi letting us down yet again in qualifying. So it's Giovinazzi, Yuki Tsunoda, Nicholas Latifi, Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher who are out in Q1. George Russell makes it to Q2. I don't think he'll be going much further than that. But he is in Q2. These guys apparently have injuries. He's got a dodgy neck. Nikita Mazepin has a cold. So we will take qualifying now for George and try and get George <coughs> qualified hopefully in the top 10 but it's unlikely I think so we're going to send him out new set of softs you can do this George send it bring out Mr Saturday Here we go. George Russell looks to set a quick time to give him a chance of Q3. What can he do? He has set a 55 6. That will not be quick enough. He will be going out again. Or will it? The rain has come. Please tell me the rain is hitting quick enough to slow other people up. No, it's not. It's not hitting quick enough. Or is it? We might be getting into Q3 by chance of luck. The weather screwed us in South Africa. But it could be benefiting us here in Russia. We'll wait 
here, see if the rain stops. It is stopping. George will have to go back out. Just got to wait for the right time to send him out for that track to be full dry. Right. We are going to send George out. Might not benefit us now, which is a little annoying. The track has dried up, the rain has stopped. a bit overheated come on George send it he's slower come on George I know you've got it in you he's still slower but this was in the rain this bit and it's a slower lap don't think we're going to make it into Q2. What the? No, some of them are now just coming out on an outlap. Where are they? I think we're in Q3. Wow. Alonso, Ocon, Raikkonen and Vettel didn't come back out. And through error of judgment, we're in Q3 for the second time this season. We're only going to do one lap. Oh, well, we need to keep some softs for the race. I think we've already got, is it four sets left or three? Yeah, four sets left. We'll do one, maybe two. We're not going to use two sets in the race, are we? Let's be honest. More than two, anyway. We, we've got two laps in Q3 possible here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So we did 55 6 last time out. What can George do this time out? Fifty-five seven. But it's not gonna be quick compared to everyone else. And at the moment, it looks like it's going to be the slowest. And I'm starting to wonder, is there any points going back out? Because I can't see us challenging these other cars. I just know if there's one man who could pull a lap out, it's George Russell. Here he goes for what will be his final lap of qualifying.
perfect tyres. Come on, George. He's faster in, in sector one. He's faster in sector two. But it's not enough to pick him up from P10. So George will qualify in P10. So we now just get to sit and watch the other times come in. Hamilton's gone purple sector one. In fact, let's watch him. He's only gone and planted it on pole. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton plants it on pole just incredible again from George to get in sometimes I sit and think qualifying 11th is probably actually better for us because we get the choice of tyres but it is what it is we come here for race day, the rain is looming. In fact, I think it's hitting now. It will be inters. Everybody will start on inters. How long's the rain here for? It is here to about lap 10, lap 11. Just because you get more a performance increase, it just makes more sense to have the intermediates on both of them. Driver strategy, that doesn't change. So here we are, it's Lewis from Max. From Ricciardo, Bottas sits in fourth. Carlos is starting fifth alongside Sergio Perez in sixth. Lando Norris is in seventh. Charles Leclerc with that dodgy neck in eighth. Pierre Gasly will start 9th, just ahead of George Russell, who starts 10th. Fernando Alonso will be disappointed, qualifying in 11th. Lance Stroll, 12th. Esteban Ocon in 13th, and Kimi Raikkonen, 14th. Sebastian Vettel, with a very poor qualifying, sits in 15th, with Antonio Giovinazzi in 16th. Yuki Tsunoda starts 17th, Latifi in 18th, and the two Haas drivers, Nikita Mazepin, and Mick Schumacher in 19th and 20th respectively. Well, there we go. We're waiting for lights out. Let's watch George. He gets off the line quite well, but he can't get past Leclerc, so he's immediately getting under pressure from Fernando Alonso. Look at the spray coming off these cars. In fact, Alonso's trying to go around the outside of George. And George's going to lose a couple of places. He'll gain one of them back, I think, here. Will he? No, Lance Stroll. He's done well enough, and he's down in 12th. George is not a wet-weathered racer, by the looks of things. Fernando Alonso, on the other hand. George, will he have the pace? He will just about. No, he won't. ERS. He will now use his ERS. And so, we're in a melee of cars. But either way, George has managed to get back up to ninth place, eighth place, seventh place. And Latifi is making ground himself up into tenth. George Russell's about to lose that sixth place. He's not very quick in the rain, is he? Bless him. So the wets are hitting. As long as no one's coming in for fully wet tyres, we're okay. At the moment, they aren't. We've just got to try and make these tyres last, but oh, do we push? Part of me saying, let's push. 
with George. We're going to try and push with George. Just try and get away from Stroll and Norris. And even then, it's not really working. So now we'll just use some ERS, and that will just power us up the road a little bit more, hopefully. In which case, we'll go back down to neutral. Lando Norris has crashed. Virtual safety car active. Do I want to pit you now? No. No, I'm not pitting under virtual safety car. It makes no sense for us to do that with TFE. I did think I saw Lando just go flying off the screen, and this is where we're going to get caught out a little bit, maybe. There's a melee of cars behind George now. An absolute melee. It's only 6%, but it'll just give us a boost to get somewhere. We're just waiting for this rain to stop and for it to dry up. Kimi Räikkönen is all over George. And both the McLaren and the Alfa Romeo are coming right up behind us. And we've got a decision to make. <laughs> Gonna, we're going to try and take these tyres till the dry weather. Kimmy, that McLaren, we've parked ourselves right in front of it there. rain is supposed to have stopped it hasn't and I'm now worried because our tyres are getting very strolls pitted you know what we're just gonna have to back up a bit and just hope we get to the weather we're gonna lose places by doing this but if it means we gain a place on people right people are pitting which means I'm now pitting. George Russell. Oh, I'm going to have to double stack. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I can only apologise, mate, but we are going to have to double stack you. Let's go. Right. That's that one and that one. Let's go. Let's make some places, boys. Just thought we're not going to get anywhere if we're conserving. What's going on with the sea feet? Tyres underheated. Well, warm them up then, mate. Right, so we're going to slow it down a little bit to see exactly what's going on, where we are, Latifi. Give him some ERS. Try and gain a place or two. George is in 11th. Is 
Sonoda is on quicker tyres, so that is why he's battling so hard with us. We'll just use ERS, we'll keep using the little boosts of ERS to try and get ourselves away. But every time he's just getting in there. He will get past us. That is inevitable. That he will get past us. We've got to start thinking about Latifi now. It's quite cars that are pitting again. So you've got Sign, Stroll, Ricciardo and Mazepin. who have all pitted again. I'm just trying to think my way through this next bit now. Latifi, they're saying his tyres are going. They are going. He's always oh, effectively last place, is he? Oh no, I think Mazepin. Judging by that time. Really. Right, if we could let him pass this time. So he goes round this time. And we'll put him into pit. And he'll go on to hards. And he'll try to take the hard to the end. We're going to fix that part as well. And that part. So it's going to be a slow stop for Latifi either way. It's going to be probably a disappointing Grand Prix for him. All in all. Um, we've lost that place as well. When it comes to George. To Yuki. He has got past on those faster mediums. But George will be on those exact mediums at the back end of the Grand Prix when Yuki, I presume, is going to be on the hards or is he going on to mediums again? We've had two mistakes for Latifi. That is a shocking... Shocking pit stop. And now he is in last place. And George is going around as quickly as he can. He's trying to make as many times around here as we can so with George we just got a bit of ERS so if I was to say talk to him now about possibly pitting George or if I just do that not worry about the tyres go George you're going to go back onto hards we're not risking it so here he goes he's going around where will George come back out give him, you let him use his ERS George is up into 12th now Perez has crashed, we are under safety car is anyone diving into the pits there is a car that's in 8 that's diving into the pits, I'm hoping we will get past him no, we won't Pierre Gasly and he's gone to softs. What it will do is possibly bring I could have easily gone to watch stands because our tyres just aren't going to degrade the same standard.
in which case we are attacking we've got extra fuel as well we've got a point on our hands here if we want it I'm ready to go when you are boys come on is this not time to start racing yet We're waiting. I've got my car set. We've caught up. Here we go, the safety car is now going in. We're right behind them. It's go, go, go. ERS, if we've got anything that can go, give it. Come on, George. Go on George, just give it everything you've got in these last couple of laps. Go on George, give it everything. There's a car going in the pits. There's a car in 15 trying to unlap itself. I don't know why it's bothering. Last thing, Stan George is in seventh. We'll turn it down slightly. We do need these tyres to go to the end. We don't want to overkill them. Just use that ERS as a bit of a monitor to try and keep us away from signs. Who's this? Let us pass. It's a car in sixth. That Ferrari is so racy. That Ferrari is getting past us without too much trouble. What are we doing, George? Oh, we almost. Come on, George, he's in seventh. That Mercedes is looking to get back past us. It's going to be an eighth place finish. You know what? I am so happy. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad because we completely ignored Latifi at the end there, but you have to put all your eggs in the basket, which is going for the points. And George was going for the points. Um, it worked. We probably could have gone mediums and we might have finished a little higher. But all in all, it worked and that's all that matters to me that really is all that matters to me what a race George Russell picking up four points an eighth place finish and I believe that might be I know he might have got a seventh actually somewhere along the lines because he's on seven points and I swear he's only had two points finishes so that is his third I believe and it's another four points Well, he moves up to 12th with 11 points. Don't mean to point it out, but he's kind of carrying the team with Latifi still stuck on zero. If we go to the championship, Mercedes are pulling away at the top. Red Bull is second. We are currently ninth, one point behind eighth, but we are 10 points clear of Haas, and that is the most important thing. Lewis Hamilton dominating at the moment. Something needs to change. Right, so that is all for today. Um, a fantastic 8th place finish. Could not be happier with it. And next up is Canada. And it looks like a nice swerving track like that bit there into the hairpin and back up. That looks like a very nice track to race on. We're getting quite a lot closer to the home Grand Prix. Just a few more races. 
if you like that race if you're supporting George give the video a thumbs up give us a subscribe and I'll see you guys in Canada